Maryland's key coronavirus numbers are rising. In the past day, 1,700 more cases were reported and deaths, hospitalizations, and the positivity rate all rose. As those numbers climb, state leaders got their wish as President Trump signs the latest stimulus bill, as you just heard, after days of wanting him to do so. WJZ is live tonight in Hamden. Rachel Benetoff has reaction from people hoping to receive these benefits. Rachel, what can you tell us? Max, the sentiment we've been hearing is even though this bill isn't perfect, it, something is better than nothing. And on ABC this morning, Governor Hogan said we've got to get this done now. I'm really not expecting a lot. Shanna Hayes is the co-owner of Charlotte Elliott, a long-standing family-owned business in Hamden. Mom and pop stores. I don't think we're really in the radar. Hayes says she doesn't feel as if she benefited from the initial Paycheck Protection Program and is hopeful that the anticipated government stimulus checks will enable people to support her antique store and other small businesses. So I just hope that people get money who can spend it here. Until recently, President Trump refused to sign the $900 billion stimulus bill and was demanding higher individual stimulus checks. The bill passed through Congress in a bipartisan vote after lengthy negotiations. Over the weekend, Governor Hogan implored the president to take action as unemployment benefits would expire for millions of Americans. Let's sign this bill now so we can start getting our unemployment benefits out right away and then quickly pass another bill. On Sunday, President Trump finally relented and agreed to sign the bill. As it stands, it will give people $600 and expand unemployment benefits. As Maryland sees more than 1,700 new coronavirus cases, more people hospitalized, and a death toll that continues to rise, many people, like Alex Jackson, say a stimulus bill is more important now than it ever was. And it's very important that we all at least start getting back on our feet before the worst starts to happen. So I'm hoping for the best. Another key metric to look at is the number of Marylanders who have already been vaccinated, which is about 19,000. And city and county officials say that number will continue to rise as the weeks continue. We're live in Hamden. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ. Rachel, thank you. And nationally, the coronavirus is spreading quickly. The country has confirmed more than 19 million cases and deaths, now top 333,000. Right now, hospitalizations are at a record high as healthcare workers scramble to treat the growing number of patients. And the nation's top infectious disease doctor, Anthony Fauci, is warning the situation could get even worse. The reason I, I'm concerned and my colleagues in public health are concerned also is that we very well might see a post seasonal, in the sense of Christmas, uh, New Year's surge. And as I've described it as a surge upon a surge, because if you look at the slope, the incline of cases that we've experienced as we've gone into the late fall and soon to be early winter, it is really quite troubling. Data from Johns Hopkins shows 63,000 people in the U.S. died from COVID-19 in December, making it the deadliest month of the pandemic.